Hey, you have business owners and entrepreneurs. This is Alan K. Cobbs of David Allen Capital, the provider of alternative funding, alternative capital, especially across the country during COVID-19. It is now 2021. We are still in the thick of COVID-19. Businesses are still heavily impacted by COVID-19. The downsizing and lack of customers coming in but we also know that businesses are going online and thousands and thousands of local of your local customers have gone online because they have no choice due to COVID-19. So it's very important that you watch this video as you are considering and looking to apply for PPP or alternative funding. Please, by all means, if you're looking and seeking for alternative funding, Come to us, David Allen Capital. You will see my link somewhere around this video. This is the purpose of this video because it's in referencing David Allen Capital Alternative Funding and also David Allen Capital, Capital Alternative Funding is a go-to for your PPP, the federal funding. And of course, uh, there's no commission involved for us as agents at D David Allen Capital. We are doing a community service. So let me get into this. Watch this video all the way through. And it's very important that you do that because you will learn some more information in addition to um, applying for PPP and some more crucial information regarding to customers that are forced to go online for their needs. So let's get into it. For, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, do you need PPP, Paycheck Protection Program funding, to keep your business surviving through COVID-19 or alternative funding if you were declined by or declined for PPP or by the big banks? Do you need more online and offline buying customers? You already know thousands of your potential customers or local customers of all abilities were forced online to go online for their essential products and service needs and wants, of course. Is your website compliant and accessible to all people, including Americans with disabilities? Did you know it's a federal law for your website to be ADA WCAG compliant, that is Americans with Disability Act, website or web content Accessible Guidelines, WCAG, Compliant. I am here to help you pursue completion of at least two needs, PPP approval or alternative funding approval and ADA, WCAG Compliant, Accessible Website and or Funnel, JavaScript Code. You need federal government PPP funding to help your business to remain open or our alternative funding in addition to PPP, or if you were declined by PPP funding. So in other words, say for example, you are approved for PPP, but not the amount that you were requesting for. So we can also help you out with additional funding. We can take a look at your um, circumstances and see if we can help you out here at David Allen Capital. Americans with disabilities need to be able to navigate accessible websites and funnels for their essential needs and wants, right? Don't you agree? I mean, just like you needing PPP, they need to be able to go online and access websites, accessible websites. So let's partner together to help solve your funding needs and the needs of your local online buying customers of all abilities. Be a preferred local business for meeting ADA WCAG compliant law and get more four to five star reviews from all customers of all abilities, including Americans with disabilities. They will love the fact that you have made your website and appreciate the fact that you have made your website accessible to their needs and wants as well. Make your website, by doing this actually, make, it will actually make your website accessible, again, keyword accessible 
to $650 billion disabled customer buying market. Google favors having ADA, WCAG compliant websites and funnels by organically ranking your Google's maps and website higher for ADA customers using screen reading devices and technologies searching for your products and services. So again, the clue is making your website accessible to these individuals. Minimize unlimited lawsuits against your website for discriminating against Americans with disabilities. Again, with the fact that they're trying to assess your website, if it's not accessible, ADA compliant, then you can be looking at a lawsuit and possibly receiving a demand letter for payment for attorney settlement payment or attorney fees. ADA WCAG may also be an ongoing annual IRS business expense write-off as long as it is an expense. So you'll want to consult your tax attorney or your tax professional preparer. Watch the news, watch this actual second video on how serious and costly not having an ADA compliant website and consider the COVID-19 times that we're in are still in. Again, so consider the fact that we're still in COVID-19 and this is a very crucial statement that you want to pay attention to and listen to. Use your approved PPP or alternative funding for business growth, not for a see you in court oath. Again, I'll repeat that. Use your business funding, PPP business funding or alternative funding for business growth. You don't want to end up having to use funding for appearing in court, taking an oath regarding your non-compliant ADA website. So continue watching the next video. Thank you for your time.